Hello, Questers and 6DOF Reviews viewers. Um, look at this. We've got 360 degree uh, panoramas. They're not stereoscopic, but they look pretty cool. And the nice thing is um, you can load them up into your headset. You can see them the way you want. Look at this anime style. You have realistic style stuff. And you can generate them all from within your quest using a browser-based interface about on a website and then you can download them onto your quest and using an app like pegasus which is what i'm using right now you can take a look at these images in uh full 360 degrees uh i think it's pretty impressive and i will show you how to do that right now basically we're gonna go to a browser so let's go to our browser and yeah sure quit app okay we're gonna go to our browser and what what you want to do is you want to go to skybox.blockadelabs.com we'll put a link in the description it'll open this up and see this is the landscape that i generated and what's cool here is i told it i want a maze of giant trees and fantasy landscape format or style you have different styles and you can try it out so let's show you something let's say digital painting for example and let's change what we want to see wait have they enabled the touch thing yet i don't know because i don't i'm using the controller so i can't tell but anyway so let's say we want to see what did we say digital painting let's say we want to see a futuristic city with giant pyramids i'm thinking blade runner obviously with giant pyramids and flying cars let's see how it handles that okay and we're gonna enter that and there you go we've set it to digital painting and now it's going to generate this um image using it's it's using stable diffusion but it's obviously kind of customized they've they've customized it so that it produces 360 degree images it's still not stereoscopic so you're still seeing the same image with both your eyes but the fact that you can just create these worlds and and then just open them up in in, a, in an app uh, on your quest and enjoy them I think is pretty cool um and the different styles are pretty cool i've tried making several things and okay here you go it's generated it it's loading it up and here it is so you can look around here see if you like what you got and more importantly you can download it to your quest there you go okay and then we're gonna open pegasus because that's how we're gonna view it so here we go let's see pegasus vr media player and we're gonna go, where did I find it? It was in headset, it was in download and skybox. And there you go. You have an instantly generated 360 degree panorama with the giant pyramids. Am I seeing flying cars? Well, I'm seeing sort of flying spaceships, but not as such flying cars, but there you go. Is that amazing or what? Spaceships in the sky? Again, the only the only real thing right now that you can, you know, you can't really move around and you can't, it's not stereoscopic, so things look flat. It's like a 360 degree panorama more than it is VR, but it's pretty damn cool. Um, try generating one more image before we go, but I, but I think you've gotten the hang of it by now. So wait, where's our browser? Recent, recent. Where's the browser? Uh, yeah, give us a browser. There we go. Yeah, quit the app. Start with browser. Okay, this time let's go for scenic. Oh, actually, let's go for realistic for a change. Okay, let's go for realistic and let's say a beautiful. Let's say we want a beautiful. Oops, can't spell anymore, can I? Beautiful landscape. in Tuscany 
Italy. I've, it's a beautiful place, and I've been there, and it's wonderful. So let's see what Blockade Labs makes out of that suggestion. So we're asking it to give us a realistic rendering. We've set the description here, and it'll do its little generation thing. There you go. What does this button do? I'm not quite sure. I don't know. But here you go. So it's doing a little generation. It'll take a little bit of time. After all, it is cooking up a whole bunch of stuff in stable diffusion. And there you go. It's generated it. It's loading it up. And we have a landscape in Tuscany. Um, let's download it. All right, let's load up Pegasus once again. Do 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 do. Yes, the flying Pegasus is beckoning us. Download and where is it? Where is it? It's this one, isn't it? And here you go. You've got a relatively realistic looking landscape in what appears to be something that looks very much like Tuscany. So yeah, you can just keep alternating between your browser or you can just go to your browser, generate a whole bunch of these and then you can, uh, you, there you go. You can then just click through them. All right, and here are some more examples that I've generated. Uh, some futuristic looking city uh, with huge towers. Um, <laughs> there you go. This is actually, I did, well, this, I actually told it to give me a landscape of giant ballerinas uh, by Rodin, the sculptor, and it ended up giving me this place with that particularly, um, yeah. And here you go, another landscape, mythical sort of creatures, or what was it I asked for? I don't remember here, like an ancient ancient temple in woods or something. I don't remember exactly what I asked for. This was done with the anime style. I told it to give me an anime style uh, temple in the desert with dunes or something. It obviously missed out on the dunes, but it gave us sort of like an ancient anime looking temple in the desert. This was, I think I told it I want a, a Tron themed sort of a uh, set of highways. So there you go. We've got some highways and we've got sort of got distinctive neon lights of Tron. This was another futuristic sort of city, but I think it was a different style mode. And this I found very impressive. This is, I basically told it that I want a bustling street in Cairo, Egypt, uh, in realistic mode. And look at that. It looks almost like something you could get out of Google Earth or something. The text is all wrong, as it always in, is when programs try to generate, well, any text, really, not just Arabic text, but there you go. But look at that. Um, all generated from your browser and being seen inside your quest. Here's another landscape. And uh, I think this is all pretty damn impressive. So now you've seen what these images look like, and you may have noticed that they're not particularly high resolution. Uh, I mean, you can't always tell. I mean, I'm not sure what it looks like when this is going to be recorded on a video, so maybe you can't tell, but it's not the best kind of resolution possible because the actual images generated by the website are not that big, like most stable diffusion images and stuff, but you can do the same trick that you can do with most stable diffusion or mid-journey images that you generate with AI, which is you can put them through an AI um, upscaling program. So there's, there's a couple of free ones that can do it. There, there are actually a couple of free websites that'll do that for you. I'll try to put a link to at least one of them um, under the video. But I've used Gigapixel. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to magnify the images quite a bit. So now I'm gonna have you look at, I'm gonna give you a look at the upscaled versions of the same places. And look at that. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but, but it's, a, it's an absolutely incredible difference inside the headset. Everything looks a lot sharper. 
Everything looks a lot sharper. It's actually, I'm very impressed. Uh, this is the first time I give this a try with the upscaled images, and it's a huge difference in sharpness and quality. Um, so, yeah, well, there you go. We got that one again. But yeah, the difference is actually, uh, it's quite a difference in detail and sharpness. Uh, so let's keep going and look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, it's a monumental difference in sharpness and clarity. It just looks much more impressive. And I upscaled like four times. You can actually upscale, well, if you're using Gigapixel, you can upscale up, up, like, up to six times. Um, takes a little longer to load each one, but, but I'm sure you can. I hope the video shows the difference because the difference in headset is absolutely phenomenal. It's, it's like looking, it's like the difference between muddy textures in a game or like sharp textures. It looks a lot, lot better in, you know, with the upscaling. It's pretty incredible, actually. I, I mean, yeah. Okay, let's look at the rest. Look at that. Look at that. Pretty cool. There you go. I'm wondering what the bustling Cairo Street is going to look like with this sharpness. There you go. Look at that. That is pretty damn cool. I have to say, though, because this one is done as sort of realistic render, um, the sharpness isn't making it look as good as the other ones that were drawn in a more stylistic way. Um, but it's still pretty impressive. And look at that. Look at that. When it comes to stuff that's done in a digital painting style or anime style or something like that, the added sharpness and resolution really makes a huge difference. I'm, uh, I'm sure you can tell. I, I mean, I don't know if you can see the difference as much as you can while, you know, as, as I'm seeing it in the headset, but I, but I mean, just looking at these, just looking at this in front of me right now, I'm, I'm almost certain you'd be able to see the difference on, on the video capture. I think it's pretty amazing. Yeah, there you go. So, um, unfortunately for the upscaling, you, you're you probably gonna wanna do it on a desktop, but again, like I said, if there's a website where you can, you know, given that there's a website you could do it, you could probably do the whole operation from inside your quest. Um, but if you're going to be upscaling a whole batch of images, I'm pretty sure in like a desktop interface would be easier to get all your upscales done and then, you know, put the images back on your quest um, to see them here. But you could do the whole thing from Quest. Um, yeah. Yeah. And that's it. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty incredible. It would be much nicer if, if you could have stereoscopic vision so that everything looked more 3D. Uh, but the fact that you could just do all this in your, in your headset using just a browser and a media viewer and just create all these landscapes, uh, all these 360 degree panoramas and just look at them um i think it's pretty fantastic so i've i've enjoyed playing around with this i'm going to be playing around with it a lot more because i'm into ai art and well into this sort of stuff so uh if you enjoy it go ahead give it a shot again the website is skybox.blockadelabs.com the link again will be below uh you'll find it under the video and uh yeah enjoy if you found this video useful remember to give us a like and i'm not going to keep saying everything you know what to do every youtube video asks for it like subscribe and all that sort of stuff but yeah uh and have a great day